something? Um, yeah, I'm wondering about a defendant. He's over in Ray County. Um, okay. His name is uh, Casey Harrison. Uh, he was arrested. Oh, is this Ashley? Yes, this is. Okay, she said, this is Carrie Littleton, I'm the other okay. probation officer here. Yeah. She said that um, she didn't have a number to call you back at. Okay, well, my number is 402-690-6471. Okay. Is it, you, you said 402-690-6471? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, my, the, the issue right now is... They, Sergeant Looney came here that day, and he said he was arresting Casey on the warrant that he had um, through his first probation violation, the warrant that Judge Miller signed. But Casey was not served with that warrant, not within six hours, not even until the next day by Ray County Sheriff's, Depart- Sheriff's Office. But they came onto my private property, and they were arresting him for this probation warrant. And then they, they had charged him after 24 hours with the resisting arrest, but it all comes from an anonymous phone call. And then, I mean, my husband, he messaged me telling me to stop or I was going to get myself in trouble that he saw the whole thing. Okay. I mean, I, was, was he in that third white SUV when they did this? And why wasn't the warrant served right then? that Looney said he was coming for. So that warrant wasn't served until the next day. How, how, if he wasn't arrested then, how was he resisting arrest? You know, Ashley, I don't know enough about that case to even help you with that. It's enough to be looked at because he's being detained illegally on Paul Canfield's false allegations. Okay, well, here's the deal. Um, I can have Caroline call you tomorrow if you're free. As soon as she possibly can. Because yeah, she gets here at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I will give her the message first thing because I get here at the same time. Okay. And I'll have her call you now that she has a phone number for you. Okay. Well, I'm, just, I'm okay. just trying to figure something out because, I mean, the warrant came from Miller. Mm-hmm. And which, way are we, which way is it going? Because there was a hearing officer. There was something that... Uh, uh, a uh, thing that went on with the hearing officer, I think February 23rd. Casey's not allowed to have a preliminary hearing, according to Ray County. He won't have one through the courts because it's okay. gone through probation and parole. So I, I just want to know which protocols are we following for what's supposed to be going on because okay. it's not being I- done that way. And I can, she has more insight on that, and I'm, I'm sorry, actually, I, I just don't know enough about I that know. case to help and, you. And she told me when I met her in court the first time when I, I, I had his phone for all the phone okay. calls for the allegations that his bond amount, that $3,000, would never change because that's through probation and parole. But Judge Miller lowered it, and it's now, you know, 7500 with the 10%. So I just, I don't understand and judge Miller can change the bond because he's the judge over his probation. I do know that. Okay. Well, see, and I didn't know. So I do know that much. <laughs> I was just trying to find out what was going on because Casey could not be resisting an arrest that he wasn't ever arrested for if it wasn't served okay. on that day, whether they were holding him on something or not. But that's crap to just for the officer, whichever officer it was, just to write down an anonymous caller led them to this address where they came on, and he said he was serving the warrant for arrest. But the warrant wasn't even served till the next day. He couldn't be resisting an arrest that didn't even happen. Okay. So what was that? Um, I see your frustration. I really wish I could help you. I really do. Um, I will give this to Caroline first thing in the morning and have her call you. Okay. Okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Bye.